we will find ourselves facing another government shutdown on November 17th if Congress does not reach a spending deal. So how would that impact us here in South Florida? Let's get right to CBS News Miami's Morgan Reiner with what a political scientist and local lawmakers have to say about it. From not being able to visit the Florida Everglades to federal employees missing out on their paychecks, millions of Floridians are at risk. Congress had three options they could have taken before midnight Saturday. One, pass 12 different spending bills for the next year. The Senate has passed zero of its of those 12 bills. Two, pass an extension of the previous budget for 45 days, which they did or shut down. And you and Professor Gregory Coger said that would have been bad for South Floridians. It means the non-essential uh, government operations will be shut down. That includes national parks. Uh, that includes uh, processing visas, visa applications. Uh, so the, like the immigration system will, uh, will be slowed down tremendously. That probably affects a lot of people in Miami directly. Democratic Congresswoman Sheila Sherfalis McCormick said if Congress does not come to an agreement in 45 days, the 1.5 million veterans in Florida will feel it. Our veterans, they're going to be suffering, um, especially the ones who are seeking care, not having access to check on what they may be their casework or even having access to their medical. Active military members won't get paid either, although they would get back pay when the government reopens. Then there's the business sector. We have so many businesses and ports that rely on licensing, federal licensing, that participate in international trade, any kind of international market. They too will now have issues reaching out. Um, even when we look at the stock market, the SEC will be shut down. Anyone who's trying to take their business public. Republican Congresswoman Maria Vera Salazar said she's working with Democrats to make sure that doesn't happen in the near future. We're bipartisan. We need to find some Republicans, some Democrats to vote for one bill and move it forward. And the extremes of both parties, leave them aside and continue the, we, we're a super majority. The Dems, the moderate Dems and the moderate Republicans were a super majority in the United States House of Representatives. A 45 day extension only means that Congress has six more weeks to come to a final agreement on the budget. And well, if they don't, we could be facing another government shutdown in the newsroom. Morgan Reiner, CBS News, Miami.